Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to find dy dx given these parametric equations. Solution. There's a couple ways to do this problem. One way is to use the formula. So the formula for dy dx, it's equal to dy d theta over dx d theta. So it's always the rate of change of y over the rate of change of x. So dy d theta over dx d theta. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, right? So when we're taking this derivative, we want to think of it like this. So the derivative of this is itself, and then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of e to the negative 1 half theta is e to the negative 1 half theta times the derivative of the inside via the chain rule. So the derivative of negative 1 half theta is just negative 1 half because the derivative of theta is 1 over dx d theta. So in this case, the 2 hangs out, and then the derivative of 2 e to the theta is just 2 e to the theta. The 2 hangs out because the derivative of e to the theta is e to the theta. So again, when we took the derivative of this piece here, uh, it's its own derivative, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. And then dx d theta, that's just um, the derivative of x with respect to theta, and the derivative of e to the theta is e to the theta. So nothing happens there. Um, this negative 1 half, you can pull it up front, and it's actually going to make it a negative 1 fourth. So, so this and this, you have this, right? So this is really negative 1 half times 1 half, right? Because when you divide by 2, you multiply by the reciprocal. So we can write this as negative 1 fourth. And you can simplify these e's, right? So what you do is you subtract the exponents, right? You would get e to the negative 1 half theta minus theta, right? So we're subtracting, we're subtracting negative 1 half theta minus theta. So what you do is you think of it as 2 over 2 theta. So this is negative 3 theta over 2. Right, same thing, right? So negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So this will be e to the negative 3 theta over 2. Kind of sneaky, innocent looking problem. But if you do want to simplify, again, you have to subtract these exponents. So negative 1 half minus 1 is negative 3 halves. And that would be dy dx. This is the slope. This is the slope of the parametric equations, uh, slope at theta. It's the slope at theta. Theta is called the parameter, right? It's called the parameter. Um, that's it.